Well, as Tropical Storm Barry dumps heavy rain on the Gulf Coast, hurricanes can still happen here in New England, even though they are less likely. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Kelly Reardon explains our risk. As of early Sunday afternoon, Barry was still a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour winds tracking north at 6 miles per hour. That slow movement brings high rainfall potential with areas along the Gulf Coast seeing heavy rain and gusty winds. A weather extreme we don't see too often here in western Massachusetts. So far this summer, it's been quiet. Me personally, I'm looking forward to a lot of warm weather without the rain, spend time outside with your animals picnics, so on. While the impacts of Tropical Storm Barry are focused over Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi, it's important to remember that New England is not immune to tropical weather. In 2008, Hurricane Hannah weakened to a tropical storm before making landfall in New England in September. Irene pushed into Connecticut and Massachusetts as a tropical storm in August 2011, causing severe flooding. But the most recent storm to hit the area as an actual hurricane was Bob in August of 1991. It made landfall in Rhode Island as a Category 2 hurricane. Hurricane Gloria made a third landfall in Connecticut as a Category 1 in September 1985. The September 1960 Hurricane Donna made landfall in Long Island as a weak Category 2 before tracking into Connecticut and Massachusetts. Category 2 Hurricane Carol hit Connecticut before tracking north into Massachusetts in August 1954. Soon after, Hurricane Edna made landfall in eastern Massachusetts as a Category 2 two weeks later. While hurricane season runs from July 1st through November 30th, New England's highest risk for hurricanes is in August and September. Kelly Reardon, 22 News.